A Sycamore Township man who promised to help elderly and disabled people get free prescription drugs admits to ripping them off. Thomas Fenske pleaded guilty to fraud charges today in federal court. Local 12 troubleshooter Howard Ain was the first to tell you about the complaints from customers, and he joins us now with new information in the case. Howard. Yes, Cammy. It was back on February 18th last year when I reported my investigation into 35 year old Thomas Fenske and his Blue Ash company called Queen City Script Care. It had been operating for about two and a half years, claiming it would get people prescription drugs at a discount. But I received several complaints from people who said they were continually charged even though they received no drugs. It worked good for about two months. Got my medicine, paid $30, and all of a sudden I wasn't getting any medicine. So I called him, wrote him, and he basically said, well, it's on the way. Crystal Beckelmeyer was still being charged $30 every month. Then multiple amounts were taken out of her bank account in the same month. The same thing happened to Ruth Hill at Versailles. The problem started, uh, there were four withdrawals in May. In one month? In one month. I took the complaints to the company's Blue Ash office, but Fenske wasn't there. At the time, he told me he was returning money taken out by mistake. Well, authorities say Fenske's unauthorized bank withdrawals totaled between $30,000 and $70,000 involving more than 50 victims. Now, wire fraud is punishable by up to 20 years in prison. Chief U.S. District Court Judge Susan DeLott will pass sentence on Fenske within the next two months. He's out on bail tonight. Authorities are sending notices to victims today requesting additional information, such as receipts and bank records. The judge is expected to order restitution, but just how much money there is to be returned to victims is really unclear, Tammy. This has really turned into a big case, Howard. Absolutely. Uh, I contacted the Ohio Attorney General's office, who filed his own suit against Fenske last year. Indiana State Police got involved, as well as those in Blue Ash, the FBI, UC, Hamilton County Sheriff's Office. Remember, free prescription drugs are available from the manufacturers to those in need, but you need to talk with your doctor about these programs. Good advice. All right, Howard, good to see you. Right. Thank good you.